Hey everyone, I'm Simba. Hi, I'm Alan. And we just want to welcome you to the special live stream that we have today on the Hillhead campus here at the University of Aberdeen, where we are going to be announcing the winner of our accommodation competition, as well as five runner-ups who are going to win lovely goodie bags as well. And yeah, before we get to that, I'm super excited for that, we're going to just give you a quick tour of Hillhead just to show you what our winner is going to be enjoying when they come in September. So I'll head over to the flat and I'll meet you there in a few minutes. We'll see you soon. Bye. Great, and while Ellen is away, I'm just gonna quickly show you around uh, a little bit of a hillhead. She's gonna show you one of our rooms, but just uh, where we are right now, you know, there's lovely facilities around Hillhead, such as where we are. This is just a lovely new fitness space that's been developed. So if you are a student, you can look forward to being able to just live a bit of a balanced life uh, between your studies and also just being able to do a bit, a bit of fitness. We've got a few nice, lovely machines over here. Nice and open in the lovely fresh air. And uh, yeah, good to have a good workout on days like these as well. It's a lovely social space as well. So, I mean, you've got your equipment over here. You've got a uh, table tennis uh, court table over right over there. And yeah, some bars for some pull-ups as well. If you're into that, work those biceps and triceps. And then just on the far side as well, you know, um, Hillhead is quite widely known for its, you know, it's a lo lovely social occasions. And we have some barbecue stands over here. So, you know, on a perfect day like this, you know, you can just hang out with the friends and have a lovely barbecue. Just uh, one of our uh, disposable barbecue stands just uh, right over here. And yeah, I'm just going to hand over to Ellen now. She's, I think she's made it to the room right now. So we'll just uh, cross over to you. Over to you, Ellen. Okay, thanks, Simba. So today we're at Grant Court. It's one of the mid-level accommodation options at Hillhead Student Village, and we're going to take a look inside. So all the buildings are fitted with card access and only the residents have access to the building. So it's nice and easy, just swipe and then we're in. Inside we have the notice board, which has lots of adverts about activities happening on campus and at the Student Village. We also have a phone next to the doors and that gives you access to the security team, maintenance and the student resident assistants who are all happy to help and support you while you stay with us. We'll follow on to the flat. And all the front doors have a letterbox where you can get your posts directly posted to you, which is really helpful. And the doors again are just swipe access with your card. Okay, so inside the flat, you've got your intercom desk next to the door so you can invite your friends in, which is great. And then just moving on to the bedroom now. So the bedroom's set up to give you a rough indication of what it might look like if you stay with us. You've got access to the bedrooms just with your ID card as well, and only you can get access to your room. So just a reminder that you'll need to take your own bedding with you, but it gives you an opportunity to personalise it a little bit. Only the bed and the mattress is provided. Then we've got a wardrobe, which is plenty of storage. You've also got a mirror inside, and then also the window and the radiator and the radiator is connected to electrical heating and typically this is all included in your, the accommodation rate. We've also got a desk with some drawers and some shelves so you can pop your things up there and a notice board as well. Um, and now we'll take a look at the kitchen if you'd like to follow me. Just a note, we've got the bathroom and their shared bathrooms at the end of the flat and then into the kitchen. So we've got a nice place seated area where you can relax with your friends and then the high chair and table here. You've got all the amenities that you could, uh, you would require. You've got your fridge and your freezer and the fire safety amenities as well. All the buildings are fitted with fire alarms and We've also got your oven and your hob, the microwave, and in this side we've got lockable cupboards. So a reminder, you'll need to take your own cutlery, crockery, pots and pans, but of course you have the option to lock these away if you like. There's also a kettle, toaster, bin and recycling options as well. And that's the kitchen. So we'll now join Simba back at the central building. 
Thanks, Elon. Wow, wasn't that just amazing and awesome? You know, I'm, 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 I'm super excited for whoever's going to win that prize. So, yeah, here we are at the central building, and this is going to be a focal point of pretty much your life here at Hillhead when you are here as a student. And yeah, we're just going to take a quick uh, look through. So, here, where we are at the entrance, we've got our reception over here where we have our staff always on hand to help you with any queries, inquiries that you may have related to your accommodation or anything else. And yeah, it's a place of convenience, so we've got a co-op uh, grocery store over here. So you're not too far away from having to, you know, pick up any essentials, any essential groceries. Of course, there are other shops nearby to the student village, but it's just nice to have that bit of convenience right there on your doorstep. And yeah, there's quite a large array of things around here in the central building. I always call it sort of a focal point of focus, fun, and friendship. And I think you'll see that as we, you know, just walk across. You know, we're getting to a bit of a nice social space over here, a few games around. We've got air hockey, we've got pool, and a few seats where you can just, you know, just hang around with your uh, friends. And um, just on my left, we're looking over to the works bar, the cafe bar. This is a lovely facility and we're going to get down here in a few. So I'm not going to dive in <laughs> a bit too much, but yeah, it's just nice to have a nice quick overhead view of it. But yeah, just in terms of where we are right up here, so I mentioned it is a nice, you know, social space. There's quite a few of those around here, which we will get to and uh, just down the corridor we're not going to go there but there are also a few uh, study rooms over there and meeting rooms so you know it's a good place as well if you just want to get some work done you know um, we'll focus on some projects or even just get a bit of printing done as well quite handy and yeah just follow me downstairs we're going to take a quick down uh, <laughs> head downstairs it's quite a lot as well downstairs and yeah you know it's always just a, a hub of activity whether in the morning in the afternoon and night there's always some sort of activity that you can get uh, going through in here at the central building. Just watch my step. Great, so I'm just gonna few, show you a few key rooms. We're just gonna start over here with the games hall. This is a lovely one as well. And wow, yeah, such an extensive space. So pretty much a lot goes on here in the games hall. You know, you can do your exercise classes. So again, continue to work on that fitness. And as well as not just, you know, sporting activities, as you can see, you can also do cultural activities as well. Uh, you have a lot of music nights in here and also Kaylee's, which are big highlights here as a student. And yeah, just take a good look. It's a, oh, it's a lot of facilities, absolutely massive. So yeah, live music, Kaylee's, um, even, you know, theatrical performance as well. You can all do this in here. And as you can hear, the acoustics in here are absolutely amazing. So that's the games hall. We'll just go take a look at another uh, lovely space here downstairs. A personal favorite of mine, if you ask me. That opens. All right, here we are in our kitchen. And this is lovely. So, you know, you may be a student, new student coming, you know, first time out of the house, and you may not know how to cook. Don't worry, there is a chance to work on those cooking skills when you come here. It's quite a big kitchen space, so, you know, you can book it out for cooking sessions with your friends. But there are also cooking classes that go on here. And as you can see, there is a camera over here and also TV screen. So you can actually monitor the chef guiding you through uh, cooking activities. And as I mentioned, cooking classes do go on here and you can also book out the space. So, you know, nice place to come learn about a uh, different way to, to make a meal, you know, refine your cooking skills as well. And as you can see, it's quite a, it's a nice creative space. So in addition to cooking, you can also do some arts and crafts around here. So it's a really a great creative space down here in the kitchen. And if you just follow me through the room while you get a good look. We've got another, you know, nice space where you can hang around. You can see there's quite a lot of board games over here, all the classics. So quite a bit of competition here can go on with your friends. And I just love it, just love the color scheme and everything. It's a, it's a really nice vibe for, for students just to come and, you know, just uh, hang around. And yeah, coming out of here, uh, coming out of the space, of course, in the corner of, over here, we've got more meeting rooms as well. So quite a lot of facilities for that. And also offices for our SRAs who are always going to be on standby for you when you stay here. If you have any queries or anything, they will be quick and swift to help you out with anything that you may need. We're just coming to a few rooms down here. So we have a few nice rooms. We've got our TV room on the left over here. It's an alcohol-free space. And yeah, there is a whole, uh, an, quite an amazing collection of DVDs, which yes, we still have those things, DVDs. So you can have quite a few nice movie nights with your friends, you know, learn about, share some of your classics with them, or even some new ones, learn about a few new good movies. And yeah, even play some uh, PlayStation, some Xbox as well. They have a few consoles. So it's a great place to hang out um, as well. In addition to that, you know, we've got our TV room. We also have, again, one of my personal favorites, the music room just on the left inside here. 
And yeah, especially for you uh, musos, you know, musically minded folk, uh, there's quite an array of instruments inside. They've got guitars, there's a drum kit, there's a keyboard. Even if you aren't uh, that skilled, they've got shakers as well. And, uh, and I think a tambourine as well. So there's something for everyone. And, you know, help help you, you know, hone your craft or learn something new and have a few jam sessions with your friends. Who, who wouldn't want that? So that's pretty much just the sort of the bottom corner of the central building. Just, you just follow me through here. So you saw just a few moments ago from sort of from the overhead, but where we're coming to right now is the works cafe and bar. And it's, yeah, it's quite a big highlight, I think, of the central building. This is where you can have meals with your friends. They also do do uh, live streaming. Uh, let's make sure we get in. Great. All right. So just follow me through here. So yeah, quite a, uh, a massive space. And uh, as you can see at the end, there's a, few um, options for food. There's also a lovely bar over there. And I mentioned, of course, with live uh, streaming of sport, we've got TV screens over here. So, you know, they stream Premier League over here as well. And also the Six Nations and pretty much all the big sporting events. So great place, you know, just to come around, hang around, you know, watch the game with some mates. And just coming on to the end, a few more uh, entertainment options. We've got a foosball table over there and a pool table. You can't go wrong with a good pool, ta pool table. And of course, a dartboard just in the corner. So. Really an opportunity just for you, just you know, to, to show, show your friends your skills, show, show, you, show us what you're good at, or maybe get good at one of those things. And yeah, you can just see the bar there in the corner as well. So, you know, it's a great place where you can just come hang out with friends, have a good meal, and yeah, just have some good fun here at the central building. So if you just follow me along right now, we are edging towards sort of the moment that you have been waiting for. We are about to announce our runners up and our winner. So I think Ellen would have arrived by now. So yeah, just follow me along and we are gonna get to the good part. Hi. Hey. Look at all these entries, how good is that? Oh, that is awesome. I am super excited about this. I just wanna get into this, but first, let's, let's just remind the viewers what, what, what's gonna be won today. Yeah, so for our runners up, we've got a University of Aberdeen goodie bag, each worth around about 100 pounds. And for the winner, we've got a year's accommodation worth about 5,000 pounds, which is amazing. How good is that? So we'll start with the runners up. Oh, here we go. Okay, first one. First one. Have a rummage around. Have a good rummage. Okay, so we've got Moses from Lagos. Oh, how you show this? Okay, nice. first one. Congratulations, Moses. Yeah. Okay, our next runner up, we have... We have Sanjeev from, excuse my pronunciation, Chandigarh, Chandigarh <laughs> India. So congratulations to you, Sanjeev. Nice, okay, awesome. another one. Good rummage and there. Right in there, yeah. We've got Rebecca from Scotland. Oh, congrats, Rebecca. Yep. Okay, third runner up. Third runner up. Fourth runner up. I'm gonna go right in there. Here we go. Oh, we've got Claudia from Santiago. I believe that's in Chile. Congrats to Sir Claudia from Santiago. Okay, last runner up. Last one. Give it a good rummage. That gift bag. Who's it gonna be? Oh, getting stuck. Um, we've got. Shiji from Trivandrum in India. Oh, so nice. congratulations. Congratulations, Shiji. Yeah, well, congrats, congrats to all of you. Should yeah. we just give them a quick round of applause? Yeah. Why not? And nah. then we'll move on to the winner. You can take this is the, the winner. winner. Oh, you're gonna let me do it? Yeah, of oh, course. I, I of feel course. so special. This is it. Gonna have a nice deep rummage for the winner. Oh, wow, what a good prize. For the accommodation. Drum get, roll. Yeah, get a drum roll in there. Here we go. Oh, here it is. Congratulations to Joelle from Lebanon. Congratulations, Joelle. Woo, congrats to you, Joelle. And again, just a reminder, you win that free accommodation. And um, yeah, wow, that was awesome. Yeah, thank you for coming with us on this tour today. It's been great having you. 
And yeah, yeah, you know, I just supposed to again to Joel. We really hope that you enjoy this prize, and we really hope this just starts you on a, a good step with your journey here at the University of Aberdeen. And for the rest of you, if you do have any more questions about studying here, especially if you're coming here in September, just uh, you know, contact the university by multiple ways. You can email study at abdn.ac.uk. You can check out the website. We also do have a few more tours about accommodation and also campus if you'd like that. And yeah, we just look forward to seeing all you all in September. And we really hope you, yeah that you've enjoyed uh, today's tour and had a good look at uh, Hillhead. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Take care.